Yes, this station is now under cyber control. Oh, excellent. Now that you're in charge of this station, what do you plan to do with any of us? You will be kept alive, uh, but only if we see it necessary. Necessary? How interesting. We will proceed to the control room. Very well, I suppose we'd better do as you say. They've already boarded, you say? Yes, they'll probably be taking command of the station now. What resistance have we got? None. Well, at least we can send a signal to Earth or something, warn them. I'm sorry, Jansen, but there's nothing we can do. We are, from this moment on, hostages. We have skills and knowledge that may be of value to them. We have to do what they say in order to stay alive. And whatever you do, don't agitate them. Doctor, don't worry. It's only a routine visit. You may joke now, but we will soon be in control of all satellite systems of Earth. But we're monitoring Earth satellite systems. Not for much longer. We plan to control Earth satellite and Wi-Fi systems. How? Why? crazy to trust them. Maybe. But at least I'm on the winning side. Maynard, are these humans usable? Usable? Yes, they are. They have skill and scientific knowledge which can help assist you in the success of your plan. And afterwards, well, they would make very interesting side wouldn't you think? We must prepare the explosives. Explosives? What are you talking about? Yes. We always wanted to go out with a bang. Great. Now what do we do? We need to carry on cooperating with them until the right moment. When will that be? I'm not sure yet. But look up above, you see. There's a hatch. I have an idea that if we can reverse the potential properties of the anti-gravity molecular system here by using this console, we should be able to let the Cybermen back into space. Yes. But what about us? Well, there's plenty of things to grab on in here. We'll just have to hold on tight and hope for our lives. But what are we to do for the time being? We have to ensure that nothing happens to Mr. Clark. At least while he's still in that airlock. Do you plan to free him? Yes. We've got to get out of this room somehow. Doctor, supposing if we were to create some sort of distraction for you? Now that would be very handy. Are the bombs prepared? 
Yes, leader. Good. Begin setting them up in the control room. What are you doing, Maynard? Looking up on the stranger I reported, the one who calls himself the Doctor, and because of him, our plan was advanced. It had to be. He was interfering. I'd just like to know who or what he is. He could be an agent from Earth, sent here to spy on us. He just turns up out of the blue and the main province of his identity remains unknown. The Doctor is an enemy which is known to us. He will be eliminated. Well, well, well. GE bombs. These devices will ensure your cooperation to us. If you fail to proceed in your task, we'll all get blown up. Yes, yes, we understand. Leader, I will take command here. You will go. What great rewards have you promised Maynard? The matter is of no interest to you. Everything's of interest to me. And Cybermen possess nothing that a human might want. You are incorrect. Then what is it? You've no home planet, no influence, nothing. You're just a pathetic bunch of tin soldiers stomping about the galaxy in an ancient spaceship. You speak unwisely. We are destined to be rulers of all the cosmos. No, I don't think so somehow. You tried that once, you were nearly wiped out. Because of Volga and its gold. If humans had not had the resources of Volga, the cyber war would have ended in glorious triumph. It was a glorious triumph for human ingenuity. They discovered your weakness and invented the glitter gun. And that was the end of Cybermen. Except as gold-plated souvenirs that people used as hat stands. Watch it, Doctor. I think you've riled him. You underestimate us, Doctor. Taking control of Earth is only the beginning. Before we begin our second campaign. Oh, so there's to be a second campaign, is there? We have enough parts in our ship to build an entirely new cyber army. And this time, Doctor, it will be invincible. Cyber men can survive more efficiently than animal organisms. That is why we are superior to you. Loose thinking. The trouble with Cybermen is they got hydraulic muscles and of course hydraulic brains to go with them. Ha! Don't move. Put that back. No. Now then, if I'm correct about what this contains and should accidentally drop it... Now I want some information from you, Cyber Leader. What's Maynard expecting to get out of all this? Maynard wants power. He will be ruler of this solar system when we have conquered it. You puppet impressions. Still, I wouldn't have thought his political ambitions would be able to... Oh, Doctor! Ah! Ah! Do not kill him. Come on, let me out. You can't keep me in here forever, you know. Someone will come and find me. Let me out of here, Tom. Tom, can you hear me? Yeah, is that you, Dr. Miller? Yes, and don't worry, I'm going to get you out of here in a sec. Well, hurry up, I'm trying. The door mechanism's sabotaged. Just give me a moment to repair it. There. Fixed. Thanks very much. That nut job Professor Mayner locked me in there. He's working for the Cybermen. Yes, we know. The Cybermen plan to con take control of Earth satellites and Wi-Fi systems. What? Well, surely the Doctor must have a plan. Yes, he does. He plans to reverse the polarity properties of the anti-gravity system. Shoot them back out into space. Well, they need time. Come on. We're ready. All right. Is everything completed? Yes, yes, just running over the final finalization codes. They'll take two minutes. Ready. No, stop, he's going to... 
Kalanda, hold on to something. Things come to an end. Now all that's left to do is to dismantle these bombs. Doctor, yes? How did you know your plan would work? I didn't. Well, I'm exceedingly grateful to you, Doctor, for all your help. Thank you very much, Commander. Hope I'm not too late. On the contrary, Tom, you're just in time. Commander, I'm sorry to say I'm afraid Tom and myself must bid you adieu. It's been great pleasure serving against you. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Doctor. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Where are you going? Oh, just around, in between places. Come on, Tom. Let's go. But, Doctor, what about the TARDIS? Hmm? Isn't it still on the Ukraine satellite? Oh, I think the TARDIS is a little closer to us than you may think, Tom. Look. Watch. What am I meant to be watching? Doctor, this doesn't really make a lot of sense. Shh, 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 shh. How did that happen? Sometimes the TARDIS just knows where we are. I think I'll just reset the drift compensators. We don't want it slipping through our fingers. And whereabouts are we heading next? Let me just check the instruments. Got a call. A call. A call. What call? An emergency call. It's from the Brigadier. He's in trouble again. Back to London? Yes. Back to London.